Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to be talking about FXML, which is the markup language used by JavaFX to create the graphical user interface, GUI. So, whenever we've been using Scene Builder previously together with JavaFX and IntelliJ, we have been using Scene Builder, which is a tool that allows us to do drag and drop to create an FXML document. But what it actually does, it's actually creating this FXML document and changing it. So an FXML document is a document that's containing markup language, on this specific case, the specific markup language FXML, and a markup language is a language that is kind of like a programming language that's built on tags. For example, this is an anchor pane tag, and it contains like the, the position and the size of our anchor pane. And for example, the anchor pane is connected to some kind of controller, which allow us to do some kind of interaction between our FXML tags and buttons and stuff, and allow us to actually use the code to interfere with it some way. But let's just talk about FXML for now. So now we just have the basic FXML, which is just an anchor pane. But let's add some stuff in Scene Builder. We can add a button, for example. So now we have just a button placed on our anchor pane. We would remember to save. So now the FXML updates automatically, and we can see it have a child, which gives this, it is a children tag, which contains the button tag, which allow us to have some kind of specific position for the button, and a size for the button, and the text that's on the button. And the thing that we actually haven't been doing so far, but what you can, is actually also change all of this stuff both inside Scene Builder, but also inside the FXML document. So I could change the text of the button in here, directly in the code as well if I wanted to. So I could change this, for example, to button, or I could change it to uh, hello world if I wanted to, or I can change the size of the position and so on. And when we go back, if we give it just a second to update, we can see it's also changed in here to be hello world, the text on the button. We also change it in here or just directly here, but it's actually kind of nice. And it's pretty good to understand that this is actually what's going on. And if you ever in the future, which most of you probably will at some point, be working with some HTML, which is also a markup language. HTML is the, the basic markup language used for creating a simple web applications. And it's actually very similar. So it, it's it's pretty, pretty good to have a basic understanding of, of it, at least to see it. And Scene Builder is probably easier because it's a drag and, drag and drop application. But it's good to have like an understanding of what's going on. And it might be quicker to like just change a few values inside the FXML document. But let's just add some more stuff and see how it works. We would add an, an H box. And we would put a button inside our H box. Let's add another button which we're also going to be putting inside the HBox. So now let's save and let's have a look at the FXML document again and see what's changed. So now we have an anger pane that contains a children tag, which contains an HBox, which contains another children tag, which contains the buttons. And you can see the button, the first button have a specific size. However, our second button does not yet, because it's just like the Second button does not yet because it's just a basic size, but we could either change the size inside Scene Builder, but we can also just copy paste, for example, this if we wanted the exact same size of the button. And now they are the same size. So that might actually be faster instead of having to go into Scene Builder, click on one button, and then find the size inside layout, and then go to the other button and change it. So this is just the basics of FXML with JavaFX. And it's, it's pretty good to at least have a basic understanding of how it works, which might be helpful in some situations, like it can be faster. But otherwise, this is just the basics of FXML for now. Leave a like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.